Good afternoon, everyone. This is Totally Sassy T from the 803. How are you guys doing? I'm doing wonderful. Um, I just want to come on and do a quick review of um, a clip that Donna Rose, um, she commented on today. Um, shout out to her for this clip. It was a, a, a clip that no one has heard before of Martel saying that God allowed him to have an outside child. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Okay, he did allow it. But baby, it was coming with it. He allowed that as, as well, okay? So, before we get started, remember, all things on this channel is alleged, in my opinion. It is for teaching. It is for entertainment purposes. Um, if you would love to join the channel, you may do so by free subscribing to the channel, number one. And if you want to join the channel, you can do so by joining the channel, the T-Crew, for $4.99 a month, Okay? At the end, middle of September, we will be having a giveaway. Um, and uh, once we hit that 13K, we will have a, a good giveaway, okay? And hopefully by the middle of September, we will hit that 13K. And baby, I got some things I would love for you to have. Um, so I hope that you join the channel, uh, subscribe to the channel to get these gifts, okay? Come on, you peoples. Let's do this. Let's get this channel growing, okay? But anyway, um, I was watching Donna Rose, one of my faves. Y'all know I love some Donna Rose, and I love my chit chat with QT, and I love my Anthony, and among others, okay? I love who knew um, a, a lot of them, okay? I, I, I can't even count how many I love, okay? But you know, I've been. Donna Rose and Chit Chat was one of the first ones when I first started on YouTube that I used to watch all the time. Okay, so anyway, she put out a, un, a clip that's never been heard before about Martel telling Melody they, you know, he was arguing back and forth with her, trying to get her to admit that she had an affair. Okay, now this is very important because. People are going after Nell. I said Nell is doing what she needs to do to put this at risk because Nell is trying to debunk Martell. Okay, he she is finna shut Martell down. Okay, allegedly. I'm getting ready to tell y'all. She's gonna shut Martell down with these cheating rumors, and Mel is Melody is more than happy to shut him down, okay? Um, Martel has never had proof Melody cheated. The only reason why Martel said what he said is because he cheated and he needed a blame. So he wanted Mel to cheat and so he would feel good in his cheating, okay? Um, Martel, you know Mel didn't cheat because your narcissistic behind malignant okay idiotic uh immature self would not have never taken melody back if melody had a truly cheated men don't do that okay especially when you say she's cheated more than once baby we know you wouldn't have took this woman back but now you just proved to us you proved to us that melody never cheated because you took her back time after time you're the one begging for her to come back home. You're the one bringing flowers and 500 dozen roses and, and all that. If a woman truly cheated on you like that, would you be that desperate? Not. Okay. So anyway, he told Melody at the reunion, not this past reunion, but the reunion last, that God allowed him to have an outside child because he found out all the things that he you did melody was doing so he allowed him to have an outside child the audacity of this man trying to put this back on god let me tell you something martel god allow you to do a lot of things and once he tried to uh give you grace on top of grace on top of grace guess what he will turn you over to your own way you can do whatever you want because he has shown you that much love that he will let you go and do whatever you want to do because that's pleasing to you. Now, it's called turning you over to your reprobate mind. That means whatever you want to do, God has came to you through Melody, through Miss Van, through everybody. 
trying to reason with you because that's what God says. He says, let us come together and reason. They tried. And after Miss Van told you what God told you, and he said, no more praying for him, let him go. Baby, I knew then. I knew then. If y'all want to hear that, go to Mr. Robinson's um, interview with Miss Van. I knew then that God had the wrath on you. He let you go, baby. That baby came because of God letting his hands off of you. Had nothing to do with God allowed it. Yeah, he allowed the baby to be born because now his hands are off of you, that baby, and its mama. And whatever comes y'all way, comes your way. Okay, whether it's famine, whether it's uh, scrutiny, whatever it is, this is what you wanted. This is what you got, Martell Hope. So God ain't got nothing to do with it. He let go of you. So yes, of course, he um, turned you over to your own self. After somebody keeps coming, let's put it this way since you're simple-minded. When somebody keeps coming to you and begging you to change, and they keep telling you, I need you to change, I need you to do this. Even God gets tired. And he says, I've asked you through your wife five years. I've asked you through your mother. I've asked you through your mother-in-law. I even sent your friend, your friends to try to talk to you and stop you. You didn't listen. I myself told you in your dreams and everything you asked, I told you, stop doing what you're doing. You didn't want to listen. So guess what? God says, I love you enough to let you go. That means he's done taking you out of his palm of his hand. And he's plucked you into the world without his grace. And baby, that is a dangerous game you're playing. So you have a reprobate mind. And men that are like that are hard to get back, okay? They will manipulate. They are on the devil's playground right now. And I just want you guys to understand what I'm saying. This is Martell Holt. There is no changing. Martell is, he chose his side. So, yeah, God allowed you to have that child. But that child, because you chose to go your way, that child's going to have nothing but scrutiny, hard times, He's going to have it rough in this world because he took the grace off of you to let you do whatever you want. He don't took the grace off his mama to let her do whatever she wants because people have come to her several times, millions of times to tell her, look, let that man go. Look, don't have no kids by that man. But what did you do? God allowed you to have this little boy and this little boy is the mockery of people's conversation on the internet in your face behind your back your mama don't even want to take care of that child okay don't nobody want that little boy and it's a shame and i'm not talking about the child but i am talking about why people are rejecting that child that child is going to be rejected just like his mama was rejected because she was out of a marriage as well allegedly so the same thing that boy's mama felt, he's going to feel all his life. And Martell Ho, ain't nothing you can do about it to make him feel wanted. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's be clear. This is all on you, not God. You wanted it. God gave it to you. Good luck with it. Okay? This is what happens when you don't listen. All right? Hold on, you guys. So everything that you do that's on you um she wanted this child god allowed her to have this child now god says whatever comes that's on you and martell i have nothing else to do with it and he don't okay whatever comes your way financial problems scrutiny um being bashed by the public that is on you guys okay you wanted this i'm gonna let everything come to you and my hands are done. God said, I am done with you. And to the point where ain't no need even praying for him. Because it ain't going to work. Mel, 
I know you're a praying woman, but God says he is done with Martell, okay? He loves Martell enough to let him go. So should you in every way. Every way. Let God deal with that when it's time to be dealt with. He's wanting this. He wants to be the 304 in the streets. He wants to uh, destroy your name. Every time he tries to destroy your name, Melody, God deals with him because he's messing with you now. Okay, so you are in your reprobate mind. You're in the mind that you want it to be. You didn't want God to, you didn't want to stop doing what you do. You didn't want to give your family another child. You're trying to bring mail. Everybody know Martell that you were the one that cheated. Nobody cares if um, Mel cheated or not because we know Mel has not cheated on you. Okay, now, and you know Mel hadn't cheated on you. If he, Mel cheated like she said, like you said she did, baby, you wouldn't be begging and pleading and begging and screaming and, and trying to destroy this woman to get back with her. Because your life ain't nothing without her, okay? Your life ain't nothing. God, you ain't got God and you ain't got Mel. All you got is a bee child, an astral child, and a boo-boo the fool girlfriend okay a bird brain for a girlfriend all right that's what you got that's what you wanted it's all you baby so yeah god allowed that baby to be born so you can suffer she gonna suffer and unfortunately that baby is suffering okay uh ain't no praying because god said god's word is final god word is final so, that's why that baby was allowed to be born. Not because God allowed it, because you wanted it. He allowed it, so everything that the world has to throw at you, evil, guess what? It's coming. You hadn't, Martell, you will never work again. You will never have that fun again. I feel you would go back to your criminal ways again because you're going to be so down and out. You don't know what to do. You're not going to have nothing, okay? Nothing. Even your frat brothers, and I'm telling you this because it's been told to tell you this. Your frat brothers going to stop fooling with you. People, you, they're going to realize that you are the liar that you really are and they're tired of you. Um, this is nothing what you're going through right now. But in the end, baby, you're going to see everything you've done. And you're going to be begging and pleading. You think you're begging now? You ain't begging now. But you will. Okay? But anyway, moving on from that fool. Okay? We're going to go to Letitia Scott. Talking about people lying on her marriage. Whoo, child. Letitia, let me tell you something. And in fact, let's just go to another video for this because I don't want this to be too long, okay? But anyway, tell me what you think about Martell Holt and Bird Brain, okay? And their B child, okay? Um, I hate to say it that way, but it is what it is. He is an astrid, okay? And Martell put that name on his own child because of the way he has ignored God. Read 2 Timothy, I think it is, when God turned you over to a reprobate mind, okay? Read, God said, I have came to you. I have begged you. I sent people to you. I've showed you in dreams. I've spoken to you, and you still didn't listen to me. So whatever comes now, I you can pray all you want. I'm not going to hear you. My ear is dead to you. You deal with whatever that's out here in the world. You chose the devil over me. Bye. Okay, I love you enough to let you go. You chose, and I love you, so I'm going to give you your way. So, Martel, the devil even tired of you. Okay, so, <laughs> honey, you out here by yourself. You and Coleslaw have chosen, and that poor baby going to suffer because of y'all ignorant choices. Okay, baby. And like I said, Coleslaw had people come to her, but guess what? It's a repeating cycle. Because coleslaw is a product 
she's an astral child. She's a product allegedly from a marriage. Okay, so it just continues. The it just continues, continues. The cycle continues, and look how she is broke, busted, disgusted, ain't got a brain dependent <clears throat> on another man who can't even depend on God to help her. He don't even have a job. So both y'all gonna be on the system. And the system don't even want you back. I'm gonna tell you something, Coach. Like you think I don't know? This that was your last chance on the system, so so yeah, you might as well stay with your sister and get you a job because you're gonna have to pay some bills, okay? And when it came to that little dog of yours, that dog didn't. Your mama didn't sell that dog. You sold that dog because you needed that money bad, and you were mad at Martell. You think I didn't know that? Girl, I have the teeth. All right. Bye, y'all.